Hey, good morning, everyone. I uh, just wanted to make a video showing what I'm doing um, for kind of uh, one of my my mobile run and gun setups. Um, one of the problems with um, the rope climbing methods is that if you're going into a spot that you haven't been to before, um, you know, I don't like to throw the throw ball during the season if I can help it. Um, you know, there's movement involved if you're trying to get close to bedding and that sort of thing. Um, I don't really like to use a throw ball the day I'm hunting if I can help it. Um, you, you could have some fr frustration and that sort of thing. So I set up most of my spots with presets. But um, if I'm going into an area that either I've never been to before, um, or maybe it's a spot that I don't have any good trees for um, DRT or SRT because I don't have a good effective limb, you know, you might have an area that has a bunch of trees that are like telephone poles that don't have a limb for the first 50 feet. Um, I needed a way to be able to get into those trees. So in the past, what I would always do is carry my four climbing sticks, but you know, it's more weight. So um, I looked into playing around with single stick climbing and I, I kind of found single stick climbing when if you just use your tether, uh, a little bit difficult for me. Um, but then I saw some guys got into a uh, hybrid stick, single stick climbing, and that I felt was a really good way to go, especially for somebody like me that, that really likes utilizing the ropes. So I'm going to show you um, what I'm doing for my uh, hybrid single stick climbing. Um, I bought a, a set of shikar stick. Well, not a set. I just bought one. One shikar stick. Um, I took off the factory um, strap. And I, I bought from uh, Backwoods Mobile Gear uh, a daisy chain, an Amsteel daisy chain, using that. And then I also picked up a, a Yates Big Wall Aider. And that just hangs, that fits nice and easily, hangs on, the, on your bottom step. And basically what I'm doing is I'm going to climb up the Aider and the step. I'm going to get my feet onto the uh, bottom of the the step and then I'm, I mean you can even climb to the top step if you'd like and then reach ab reach above and tether in with I have a 30 foot climbing line um, that I would normally use for SRT and uh, what I what I've got here basically a 30 foot climbing line and I also have some paracord on it so that I could pull it back out and on this climbing line I basically just have a loop with a figure eight on a bite and this is going to basically be my tether i'm going to tether in above the stick and then i'm going to tie into that with my gree gree that i would normally use for srt climbing so as i climb i'll pull up the slack and um i'm going to sit into my my climber once i'm up high there and i've got my tether up as high as i can reach sit into my saddle and then reposition the the stick and just keep climbing up so i'll show you how that's done um, what I'm going to do too is I'm going to also incorporate my uh, my lineman's belt as I'm climbing just to keep me safe so I can work hands free as I'm climbing. So I got that daisy chain on my side. I got a ropeman on my lineman's. Let me show you how I do it. We'll just do this real quick. I'm not going to climb all the way up to the top of the tree, but just kind of give you an idea. Clip in with my lineman's. I've got my 30 foot tether basically climbing line and I got my my gree gree on my saddle One of the things you got to be careful of with your paracord is that it doesn't get tangled up in the rope so you don't have any problems when you go to pull it out. 
basically, so now it's like I've got my tether up as high as I can reach. And then I'm going to clip into my, to my gree gree. Pull up the slack. Basically, pull up the slack on my my gree gree, and then I'm gonna come off of my my lineman and sit right into my sit right into my saddle. One of the nice things about being on a gree gree is I feel like I'm a little bit high, like right here. Now I'm, I feel like I'm a little bit high for my climbing stick. I could rappel down if I needed to. This one's a little bit high, but it's no big deal. I can reach it. And all you're going to do is just reposition your climbing stick up the tree, about as high as you can reach. it in. And it's it's kind of good to kind of pull yourself to the side I find and then hang it so that your rope doesn't get in the way while you're climbing. Otherwise when you bring it up it's kind of like your climbing stick wants to get close to your rope. But I just try to stay off to the side of it. Step into your aider and I you know I keep utilizing my lineman just to make it easier to step. Walk up it, and you can basically pull up on your tether. That's going to keep you at the height you want. Walk up of it. Walk up it. Just keep moving your tether up. Sit back into it again. Like I said, I, I try to move off to the side and just Keep moving your, your climbing stick up the tree. Just take your time. As I'm going up the tree, I'm seeing my, my daisy chain is getting a little bit long, so made an adjustment to it there. Keep walking it up. Get into it and just Keep repeating that process. It's a little bit of work, but you're going to be hanging four sticks anyway. So you could either hang four sticks off of your body, hang the stick, 
climb up, you know, but then you're carrying more sticks in. With this, you're just carrying into one stick a short 30 foot rope or so, and it's just easier going in and out. You gotta hang each individual stick anyway. If you do it this way, to me it seems a little bit more efficient. So, one of the beauties I like of it though is when I come out. So now, when I come out, take my lineman off. When I come out, all I have to do, I don't have to single stick climb my way back down. Um, I also don't, you know, even if I had four sticks, I'd have to come down, take each stick off individually, drop it down or whatever. If you're hunting near a field edge or something like that with a lot of deer in it, it could be kind of a pain. You don't want to spook the deer out. Nice thing about this is when I'm using this, I could just rappel down out of the, out of the tree. But uh, I'm going to just rappel down a little bit here. All I have to do, take my, take my stick off. And if I was hot, really high, you know, if I was say up 25 feet, I might have to let this down on the on my paracord or something. But in this case, I could just drop it down here. And then when I want to come out, I could just repel down nice and easy. Now I just want to, sh sh uh, real quick, just a quick tip for anybody that gets into using these uh, these belay devices for SRT climbing, um, whether it be a Gree Gree or a Mad Rock Safeguard. Um, I saw a guy the other day had an issue. He, when he was climbing, um, he, he actually fell like 15 feet or came down like 15 feet a lot quicker than he wanted to because when you use a belay device like this, you're not supposed to just hit the brake release and, and try to work the brake. You really need to control this side and hold it over the belay device. Technically, if there was no break in here, I should be able to hold myself in position through the belay device like this. But now, like this, I have control and I can just feed it. And this is the proper way to come down so you're nice and controlled and you can control the speed of your descent. So, that's what I'm doing for kind of a, a mobile run and gun. Um, single stick climbing. I'm trying to do this. Uh, I've only used it a couple of times. I'm still working out the kinks in it. Um, not real good at it yet, but um, it's actually, I find it to be pretty easy. It's easier than packing in my four sticks. So the more I do it, I think the more proficient I'll get at it. But it's another way to go. And it's another way to incorporate the rope climbing methods with a stick. And uh, it'll get you into trees that might be a problem like this particular tree here i've got a preset loop up there on that limb that's probably i don't know about 30 feet up but if this was a tree that didn't have any effective limbs all the way up but i really needed to be in this tree i'd be in trouble if my, the, my only method was a rope climbing method but now with this i can actually get up and still get out and